Hello, my little friends! Welcome back to Aurica's Little Stars. My name is Aurica and today we are going to read a new book together. If you are new here, don't forget to hit subscribe button right there. So we're going to read more books together. Don't forget to hit notifications too, please. Great! Now you are an official little star. The book we are going to read today is... Are you ready? Ready? Let's see it. Ta-da! The Masterpiece, written by Mr. J, illustrated by Louise Perez. If you have this book, go get it. You can read it along with me. Let's get started. The Masterpiece, written by Mr. J, illustrated by Louise Perez. In the back of a studio, behind lamps of clay, to the left of a canvas, where the paint canvas would spray on a dusty old table that was littered with chalk, the paint brushes gathered for an artistic talk. The first one to speak was a paintbrush named Riz, who said, Let's create a grand masterpiece, something with color to fill many pages, to be remembered by all and last through the ages. The paintbrushes cheered and raced to begin, except for one brush who didn't join in. A brush named Estelle set off to the side and started at the wall with her eyes open wide. She rocked back and forth, a thought in a small boat, and sang to herself with a single low note. Her single note song, her continuous hum, and the others knew well where this hum had come from. They had heard it before and knew this was her way, then two went on over to ask her to play. They gave her some paint, red, yellow, and blue. If you would like to come paint, would love to have you. So the brushes got started with large, vibrant stalks, painting valleys and lakes, elm trees and oaks. They created a forest with a sleepy brown fox and on one of the hillsides, they painted some rocks. They all worked together, setting mood, theme and tone, when they noticed that Byron had gone off on his own. He ignored all the others, he had not made a sound. He just painted in circles, around and around. It was clearly quite different. There could be no denying, but they didn't make fun or send him off crying. Instead, they all stopped and Riz gathered the crew and for just a few moments they made circles too. They painted some more and worked well as a team when they suddenly heard a startling scream. What do you think it is? What happened right now? Let's continue reading and find out. They jumped back in shock and turned around to see that the one who had screamed was a paintbrush named Lee, who spun all around, shaking all of his bristles as paint hit the canvas like green dotted missiles. Then he made a green splotch and an angry green line, while Riz calmed the others. Don't worry, it's fine. He just can control it. There is no need to be scared. And the next time it happens, you'll be more prepared. 
the old breast hand added, and they all settled down, and added more colors, pink, purple, and brown. They worked through the day, then stopped and admired. The wisdom they now painted canvas inspired. Their painting was perfect. It all meshed just fine with its colorful circles and angry green line. It was a true masterpiece. Not one thing was wrong, including the hum or a single note song. The end. I hope you little stars enjoyed the book. I did. And remember, if you have a favorite book that you'd like me to read to you, or you want me give a shout out to you, go now to rikaslittlestar.com and write a message there. I'd be happy to hear from you. See you next time. Shine bright, little stars. Be good. <laughs>